great leader of the occupied United States. Greetings to our comrades, citizens of the new America. For the last two years, you have known sacrifice. And you have known loss. But surely as dawn follows night, a brilliant sun now shines across the world. It is the light of prosperity and progress, and the burning torch of peace. Hey guys, Doug here from GameChurch.com, here at CES 2011. I mean, this place is absolutely madness. I'm here with my friend Jeremy Grainer from Chaos Studios. He's going to give us a little heads up on what to expect with Homefront. Um, so Chaos Studios started with Desert Combat mod for the battlefield. Now we got to Frontline's Fuels of War. Um, now we're on to Homefront. Explain what did you guys learn from Desert Combat or perhaps Frontline's? What to expect with this, with uh, Homefront? I think the core design team that worked on the Desert Combat mod and the Battlefield franchise really learned large-scale warfare. That's the heritage of Chaos Studios. And with Frontline's, you know, they made a nice, huge, large-scale warfare game, huge player counts and things like that. Definitely took a lot of learnings from that and brought them to home front where we're focusing on core design philosophies and building them out as great as possible. And um, I saw on your guys' website that you also have the writer of Red Dawn, the movie Red Dawn with uh, Patrick Swayze and all those uh, hardcore guys. Um, what did you guys learn from him or what did you pick up from him? So basically the high premise of Homefront is we wanted to tell the story of an occupied America and who better to work with than John Milius, the writer of Apocalypse Now, Red Dawn, Conan. So what he taught us and what he brought to the table is keeping it simple. As video game designers, we would have had five resistance fighters throwing the entire Korean People's Army into the Pacific Ocean. He said, no, that's not believable, it's not possible. So the simple storyline, working with him, is five people securing fuel and bringing it to the West Coast for the greater good. Right on. Um, I was fortunate enough to work for THQ and testing for Frontlines, and uh, just something about the multiplayer and all the classes and all the options, I mean, there was just so much to choose for. There was nothing to really... I don't know, you didn't get bored playing the multiplayer. Can we expect that from Homefront? Definitely. And Homefront's bringing something unique to the genre, for me especially. I come from the infantry shooter background, and finally, infantry shooter intensity meets large-scale warfare. We have this great battle point system, ground control game type. We have an event in New York City next week. We're going to be unveiling everything multiplayer. Um, so that's what's really great about it. We have vehicles, airstrikes, drones, infantry, air-to-air, air-to-ground combat, everything you expect in a AAA quality title, and then some. All right. Well, thank you for your time, Jeremy. It's uh, nice meeting you. Uh, yeah, here it is, guys. And uh, here on a 103-inch TV, you can watch Homefront being played in 3D. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's, it, does, uh, it doesn't really do it justice unless you put these glasses on. All right, guys. Uh, this is uh, Doug from GameChurch.com. See you later.